I was on Tinian, and we landed. My company, and I, as, I'll be proud of this, I think I set my feet on the first Japanese mandated territory in the Marshalls. And uh, I was wounded twice there. On Tinian, we were in the front wave also. So I did a lot of scout work. And as a matter of fact, there were two bands I attacked that I could report. And uh, leading into the story, you work all day long, I call it work, about four o'clock you tie in. Okay, now you're tired, and maybe seven, eight o'clock tonight, word comes over, take your group out, set up an outpost, do what you want. But you know what they always forgot? You worked, say you got up at eight to four o'clock, you went out and came back at three. They never said, Go to the rear and catch some sleep. So it was always two hours or three hours. And true story, we had two Banzai attacks. One of them I'd come back and I gave the report and I always slept in a foxhole with four people. You know, one hour on, two hours off, so whatever it is. Got back, gave the report. I always asked for the first shift because I knew once I fell asleep, you're not gonna wake me up. Well. I did a double shift, slept, got up the next morning, help me God, dead Japs all over the place. I looked up and I said to this kid, what the hell happened? My God, you're alive. I said, what do you mean? He said, we thought you were dead because we could have used the extra help, but I slept through the whole damn thing. The noise, the squeeze, the screaming, everything else. It was really something. Don't I reached up, touched my throat, said, thank God. <laughs> yeah.